They say she get it from her mama Mama say you fuck her right Body boot is fun but like Dummy in the home of life Tell me is you down Cause I'm trying to I'm starting this video in bed because this is genuinely where I have been for the past three days. I was really sick for the past three days and laid in this bed for 72 hours. I got up to get dinner, whatever. Most of the time was spent in this bed and I started watching Sex in the City and ah! I am obsessed. I finished the first season and love it. Obsessed. Do not know why I started it now, but I feel like right now in my life, it's just the perfect time to start watching that show. I don't know why. I just like, like I got it. I understood some of it, not all of it, some of it. But today, this is a get your life together type of week for spring season because friends are friending, plans are planning, school is definitely schooling. I am not doing anything about it. Except for today, this week, everything is going to be perfect and I'm gonna get it together because I literally cannot handle being stressed and crazy anymore. It's just not for me. Today's job is cleaning my room. And you may think, that's not that hard. And it's not. But I have two hours to do it because my friend is coming over tonight. And step one to getting my life together is having a clean space where I can just live my life. Okay? That's what we're gonna do. Obviously, we're gonna put the tunes on, listen to music because I can't do anything without it. But first step is my bed because she is a disaster. My life has genuinely been such a mess. We've got some cereal bowls, Cheeto bowls, and like, girl, why are you drinking Orange Crush? You're literally sick. Dirty tissues, literally disgusting. Everything's just disgusting. Clothes on the floor, my laundry bag that has just not been laundrying at all. Can we just talk about the fact that I literally have no money left on my laundry cart, so I can't even do laundry? I can reload it anytime, but I haven't done that yet, but I really need to because last time I did my laundry, my friend had to pay for me because I genuinely went to tap it and it said, Nothing. You have no money, girl. And guess what? All my laundry was already in the laundry, and I was like, I know you're lying. Genuinely don't know how I would ever survive the Toronto winters without my heated blanket, guys. I brought this all the way across the country because one thing about me, if I'm not warm, nobody is warm. <laughs> but for real, I just like, I had to, I had to. <laughs> like, I don't know how I could live without it. She is finally done. I just have my sweatpants and sweatpants that I just like will wear next time I get cold. My SZA shirt because it just is on display. I don't even know why. But my bed is so nice and when it's made, it just makes everything look amazing. It might just be me, but do you guys have like an in your room playlist? I genuinely have like an in my room playlist for songs that like, I don't know, I feel like whenever I'm in my room, I don't want super hype songs. I don't want super slow songs when I'm like doing things in my room, not when I'm like chilling or like, you know, depressed, but <laughs> when I'm just like chilling in my room and I want just like a good time, I always have these songs that I go to that just like make my mood. And the biggest one right now is The Birth of Sire by Jaden Smith. I could not tell you why. My favorite song, like ever. Anyways, I feel like every single video I stop and show you guys my favorite songs, but I love music so much. If you know me, you just know I'm always listening to music. I love music. I feel like I want to know every song ever because music is the most beautiful thing ever. And without it, I just wouldn't be a person. getting a bit empty right now and I hate it but also guys I've been trying to actually like plan my life this year but I got this 17 month planner it's from August 2023 to December 2024 and I really did not use it till 2024 so I've been loving this I also have my journal which I genuinely have not used and I told myself I would and I feel this is an every year thing but guys let's just stand on business this summer this <laughs> this year not this summer I'm just so excited for summer guys can you tell but I really want to just like I really want to write in it I do I do I do also I have these stickers and I feel like whenever I put stickers on something it just I don't know makes me more excited to use it so I have a Billie Eilish one I have a folklore one and I have another one I always say like oh my god like don't use the stickers because you're gonna you know you're gonna want to put them somewhere
somewhere else like on your mac or something but genuinely i feel like i'll get better stickers from my mac i put the folklore one on there and i'll put the billy one in the middle because billy eilish and crying is my personality so now it looks like i'm not putting the other one on there because i genuinely don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing so we're gonna hide that this is what it looks like and there's nothing in it and i really want to start writing things in it but i don't really like i feel like i'm over the whole like sadness journal thing because i always just write like everything i'm sad about which is just like girl bye <laughs> and i want to just like put like memories and stuff i can totally write about myself being sad because like that's just a part of life but i really want to put things in here and i have this confetti piece <laughs> from 44 it's a nightclub in toronto and i literally have this from the day that i almost <laughs> and not because of anything serious because i'm just dumb so i wanted to put that in here which I'm gonna do right now. I don't know, I really like when you put things in like the middle and right around it. I think that's really cool. So I'm gonna put it like somewhere in the middle here. It's a little bit dirty, but hey, it adds character. So now I have this in here. My goals for this year. I'm gonna write at the top 2024 with a few hearts because I love drawing hearts. And then I do this every year, but I feel like especially 2024 is gonna be like one of the biggest years of my life. I don't know how, but I know it's going to be because every year has gotten bigger and bigger but like duh obviously you grow up and things are gonna get bigger but i genuinely feel like it's gonna be the biggest year of my life and i'll tell you why because 2023 started off good a really good year honestly like i went to so many concerts hung out with my friends had a good time i worked i had two jobs everything was good in my life and then i moved across the country in september and now i've been living here for four five around six months now which is literally crazy because i thought that like i don't know i felt, went by so fast really i really like it here and i feel like if i put myself out more and just did more i would get more out of it i'm just like really shy you watch this like girl you're not shy well obviously i'm not shy i'm in my room by myself that's why i'm not shy <laughs> i am really shy and i want to be more going because i feel like i'm so like when I have my friends and we're just like kicking it up. I'm like, oh my god. What a grand old time You could have a grand old time more if you just Talked to people. I'll make friends. I make friends and I also have this fear of forcing friends I feel like that's not good either Especially like I always think about in high school and stuff like that I went to a high school that was like kind of smaller and a lot of people went from kindergarten to grade 12 So I pretty much like okay my card got full and I just don't know what I was talking about But I think I was talking about high school where like I went to the same high school the same people my whole entire life so when it was like grade 12 and I wasn't close to certain people, I wasn't about to like force myself to. Because if I went 13 years being around you every single day and we are not like this, it's not meant to be. And that's totally fine. Like I was never upset about it, but some people really were like, you know what I mean? But I just, it wasn't that serious to me. And there's people that I meet and I become literally inseparable with them after the first like month of being around them. And I think that's like, that's just your people. You know what I mean? But anyways, I really want 2024 to just like be about me. Is that wrong? I feel like it's not because you know what? It's not wrong. It's right. I'm in Dundas Square. It's so dead here. <laughs> it's so dead today. Like there's nobody outside, which I love. I'm going to shoppers because I have to get some stuff. I need to get my vitamins because when I tell you, it's the re I know it's the reason I'm sick. I know it. I don't know what cereal to get. I had these the other day and so good. I didn't even know these were a thing. Tim Hortons cereal, I feel like that's like not good. I love corn pops so much. So I'm not sure if I want that or not. Okay, to be honest, these are only for um, the weekend because I don't have breakfast on the weekend, so I just like have cereal. But genuinely, what do I get? Something I don't want to get sick of. I got Fruit Loops last time. I got Captain Crunch one time, and then I got Corn Pops another time. Okay, I think I'm just gonna get these because I genuinely, genuinely really want these. I just got back from the store. I literally bought two things. The whole cereal thing I had showing you guys, I didn't get any of that because I realized I still have Fruit Loops that I bought like so long ago, so I'm still gonna use that. Honestly, Toronto groceries, anything is so expensive. If you have something, like you don't need to buy it, like don't buy it. I literally only got two things from the store because I only needed two things. 
So I got this. It's just like my vitamin C thing that I genuinely can't live without. I know I got toilet paper because I need a toilet paper. I feel like one thing about me, I'm gonna have my headphones on at literally all times of the day. It's just because I have a soundtrack to my life. Every time I'm outside walking or anything, I need my headphones. They just like make me the happiest person literally ever. I'm not even kidding. I listen to music every single day. Oh my God, I'm dropping things. So Shago lineup is dropping tomorrow. If you guys know what that is, it's like a music festival in Montreal. And I am so excited. I really, like I always like, have a hard time figuring out like what artists are on what lineup because I genuinely just, that knowledge isn't with me. But I really want Melanie Martinez. I love her so much. I want Lizzie McAlpine. I want um, Girl in Red, maybe, I'm not really sure. Um, obviously, SZA's headlining and Noah Khan's headlining, so like, either way, I was happy with those two. Small area, but so much happens, and there's so many people went so far, and the food is so good. But the only thing is I only ate poutine when I was there the whole entire week in Montreal, so I'm gonna have to try to eat something else this time, but the poutine is so good. Like, if you're gonna have poutine, have it in Montreal. But I'm just so excited, because one thing about me, I'm a music festival child. Like, I wanna work in a music festival, I wanna work for music festivals, I wanna just like, Music festival it up, music it up, life it up, love it up, happy. Like what, what, what? Like music for me is just like happiness, love all around. Like my job back in Vancouver is at a at Rogers Arena, like the hockey music venue, and like I love it so much. Like there's just so much happiness, everything. Like I just love people who are happy. Like I honestly hate being miserable, and I was miserable at every other job I had. And finally, I was like, what is one job that I would have that I would actually enjoy going to because I like to be there in the first place? A music venue. Duh. So I'm just really excited for that, and that's honestly all I have to say. But today's gonna be a really chill day. Like, genuinely, nothing to do. I'm going to the gym later, maybe, unless I hang out with my friend, but we'll see what happens. I guess I could go right now, but I also don't want to. I like going to the gym either early in the morning or at night. In the middle of the day, it just seems like criminal to me. And then I'm just like tired, because after the gym, I love to just like sleep. You know what I mean? That's literally all I have to say, but. Every night fucks every day up Every day patches the night up Oh God, you should match it, it's that KO No one lighter, still I fuck my 28th up 1998, my family had to act up Oh